Right, so this valve has failed on this radio, so the customer wants it swapping out. I'm going to fit in one of these, you can have them direct on this place. But unfortunately for me, it's on a gravity open vent system. So we're going to make sure there's no demand on the heating and hot water. We're going to locate the feed and vent tank, which is normally always the smaller of the two tanks in the attic. Take the lid off. And we've got two bungs. One, we're going to bung in this vent pipe here. And then the other is going to be on this pipe, but you can't see it because the water's running. Just check there's no lugs on the inside before sticking your bung in. Something like that. The bunging of the tank should then cause a vacuum in the system, meaning you won't have to drain the whole system. So I'm going to shut off this lock shield and shut off this TRE. Folding bucket, link in bottom left hand corner if you want one. And check that the vacuums have worked. It's definitely slowing down. Let's get this swapped over. Right, that's new one on. There's the old one. The money concern with this is I've used reuse the old bullet reducer on it because well it would have been a ball in sort of that out. I'm gonna leave this valve off and that one off. I'll go and take them bungs out. That should start filling up now. Open both sides back up. Bleed this radiator. Turn the heating back on now. Make sure this radiator is up and working. Check the nibbles levels. On to the next one. If you like this type of content, check out my YouTube channel. Link in the description for longer form videos.